G'day my YouTube friends, how's everyone going? My name's Caroline and this is my weekly wrap up. All right, if you're new here, this is where each week I deduct funds out of my spendings, if I've spent anything, and I also go through and just let you know the comings and goings of the week, really. Um, but yeah, I hope everyone's had a great week. Happy Sunday. Pepsi cheers to you. And so I have purchased two new uh, face moisturizers. So this is a company here in Australia, Endota, which is actually a spa place. So it's somewhere where you would typically go to get like a facial or a massage, um, but they also have their own skincare range as well as beauty products. So I have gone and purchased my two uh, moisturizers that I get. I love this. This is ultra light oil free moisturizer. So if you're someone who has like oily skin, this is great because it doesn't leave your skin feeling oily at all. Uh, these are normally $80. However, because I am with Boopa for my private health care, one of their incentives is of rewarding 25% off to any products when I shop at Endota. So I have got these down to $120 for both of them. So they came out to be $60 each, which is great. So that's what I have to deduct. And I've already pre-filled in my tracker. And I will be taking this out of head to toe. So $120, so I'll take out two 50s and a 20, but let's take out this 20 because it's a bit yucky. So we've got one, two, three, 50, 70, 90, 410 left over, which is correct. So that is all up to date and the 120 to cover the moisturizers is now going to go back to cover that spending. And that's all I've done in terms of spending this week. Uh, but I have been watching some really awesome new shows that I want to talk to you about. So I completed one that I started a while back and I just kind of stopped, but now I finished it and it's called Billy the Kid. It is over on Stan here in Australia. I'm not sure where it is in the rest of the world, but it's a great, if you love your Westerns, it's a really good series and I hope that they do a part two a season two because uh, I've kind of left it open a little bit and you want the story to continue so I hope that they do a season two but nothing's been announced yet uh, and then in to keep in form with the western I have smashed out it's only six episodes um the English which is over on Amazon and it stars Emily Blunt she actually produced this as well and it is awesome it also stars the actor his name's like Chase something I'm not really sure but he's the guy from Twilight he's brilliant uh in it really awesome cast it's just such a cool it's not very Hollywood like it's very cool independent feeling film and a film but mini series and I just really like it I love period pieces um it doesn't necessarily have to be set in England like most of the other ones but I really did enjoy this uh western period piece I really enjoyed it and it's only a standalone it's not going to be season two or anything like that because it ends uh but it is great and I definitely give it a go if that's something that you enjoy watching and then, of course, I smashed the first two episodes of Yellowstone. They released two episodes on Monday. And, yeah, Mum and I, we watched them together and we love it. We love Beth so much. <laughs> Beth Dutton, she is a total badass, is she not? She is so cool. So, yeah, we really enjoyed it. We can't wait now for each week to watch them. They're going to come out each week, unfortunately. Uh, but then we also have some new photos leaked for the new prequel to Yellowstone, which is 1923, which is apparently dropping over on Paramount, which is going to be on December 18th, I think. Um, and that's going to star Harrison Ford and Helen Mirren. So this, the cast of these prequels are really getting some good cast. Uh, like the first one was awesome. Uh, 1883. This is going to be even better. I reckon 1923. And then obviously the Yellowstone. Oh, I'm hooked. I love this series. And if you if not watched it definitely give it a go but comment let me know do you guys watch Yellowstone did you like the prequel 1883 if you watch that no spoilers though because I like to have make sure that there's no it's spoiler free for people uh, but yeah I really really like the two mini series that I've watched this week which is Billy the Kid and the English really great there's just so much new content coming out. I cannot wait. Each week from here on out, I'm pretty sure Netflix drops something pretty cool too. So can't wait to get on and keep watching things up, lead up to Christmas. But I hope wherever you are, you are having a happy Sunday. You've had a great week. Here's to 
tomorrow doing my cash stuffing unfortunately i didn't do a bonus video for you guys this week on friday but it was great because i was able to just relax cut like have a bit of a quiet week the previous week i had done a binge of nine videos straight so it was good to just kind of chill this week catch up on some videos so that's what i did and i hope wherever you are you're safe you're happy you're keeping well and i'll see you guys tomorrow for my monday cash stuffing bye for now bye